Hello, everybody. Hello. I am very happy to be here. It's true that I have another meeting at 8. <laughs> and I want to be there. It, I think it's very important that I be there. Because I just came, I came a little late because we had a discussion about something that occurred recently and which is very common for us humans. <laughs> I am here at random, I don't know, sometimes they deny me the visa, sometimes they give me the visa. It's <laughs> contradictory as, as it is I think, generally the, the policy of the United States toward Cuba. Absurd and contradictory. <laughs> but we understand. We are patient. <laughs> we are used to that. Anyway, I came a little late because we had a talk with the president of the Latin American Studies Association related to the denial of visas to ten of our most prominent colleagues, and especially to those who focus, and this is uh, you will see it's, it's obvious why the visas were denied. Those who focus on Cuban-American policy and those who are experts in the differendum between Cuba and the United States. The rest of us were given the visa because we are poets, anthropologists, writers, <laughs> you know, like uh, Clouds, birds, <laughs> <laughs> the sun also rises in our lives. <laughs> and we are poets and anthropologists, but we are, above all, revolutionaries. <laughs> And then we learn, at least in my case, I am already 72. Oh, as you can imagine. <laughs> All these things that have been said very intelligently and objectively here, I have experienced in my life. <laughs> my lifetime has been rough, difficult, full of contradictions, but still it has been a privilege for me to have lived this 53 years in such a wonderful, beautiful, contradictory process. <laughs> Even when we have uh, left behind part of our blood, our bones, our flesh, but we are still here, young and fresh, to always uh, support the most uh, noble and human, humanistic uh, projects and ideas of the Cuban Revolution. So, I am not going to give a long speech because I really want to attend this meeting <laughs> because we have the purpose, and this was discussed today, to distribute a document that I hope will be sent to the State Department uh, condemning this uh, re the reject and denial of the visas to our very prominent uh, colleagues. In this occasion, the more those, as, as, as I said before, are more related to the Cuban uh, uh, policy uh, uh, between Cuba and the United States. So, uh, Gloria, well, Gloria would love would want me to stay here longer and to talk about culture and the human culture policy. But you all know, you all know very well that one of the main uh, aims and purposes of Cuba and of Fidel Castro since he took power in 1959 was to create an ambience, a world of culture uh, and illustration for the Cuban people. And this has been the main reason why most of us who came from the past, from the 50s, who were raised in private schools, etc., etc., coming some of us from the petit bourgeois, remain in Cuba, 
because we really we were amazed and surprised of the, the fantastic uh, uh, development of the Cuban culture and how this aim of Fidel and the rest of his colleagues and companions uh, had for the, the, the future of my country. Before the revolution, before 1959, we had good writers, we had good dancers, as Alicia Alonso, and good uh, musicians. We have always had, had wonderful musicians, and artists, and writers in general. But the, the, the real uh, increase of, of this uh, army of um, men and women of culture began in 1959, when it was Fidel Castro who had the idea to uh, enhance and create a new ballet, in new dance, uh, new ensembles of Cuban folklore, to create the Institute of uh, Art, to create uh, the, the, the schools of art, the film school. What, the first law, by chance, the first law, in fact, that was uh, written and approved in Cuba in 1959 was the creation of the Film Institute, of the ICA. So you can imagine all these men coming from the mountains, <laughs> thinking about the reform in the agrarian world, in the economy of Cuba, trying to change everything upside down, and having in mind the creation of a film industry and a film institute that has given such wonderful prestige to, to my country. So uh, I am not going to talk about that, if you want to ask me any questions. I mean, I am the president, as Gloria said, of an, an organization, which is called Union, but it's not a union that you in America uh, learn about union. This is not a, a syndicate. It's a, an association, a free, open association. It's like an orga a social organization, by the way, of writers and artists, and we are 9,226. I am convinced and sure that before the revolution, first of all, we would have never, never existed in an organization <laughs> like this unless with such an amount, of, such a great amount of people, like almost 10,000. And we are the vanguard. I mean, not, a, not all artists, not all writers belong to the Writers and Artists Union. It's only the most outstanding one, those who have a curriculum, those who have an experience, those who have published books or, or presented, performed their, their culture and their activities and all over the world. And basically, so I think my, my real, uh, my real uh, reason to be here and my feeling is to thank you as a Cuban, as a, the president of the Cuban and, and writer and artist, and just as a Cuban, to thank you for all you have done for Cuba, to support and cooperate with our revolution, and to thank also Gloria La Riva. That whenever I see Gloria on TV in Cuba, I say, my God, we are going to win, we are going to win. <laughs> because she has ideas, she has a, a very rooted ideology and a, the convincement that we are defending a very uh, humanistic and fair uh, cause. So thank you very, very much. <laughs> Let me send a message from someone that is very, very close to you, that any of your activities, all your activities, he is absolutely aware of them and he hears about them. And I had the privilege yesterday to speak by the phone with him. I'm talking about Rene Gonzalez. We are going to win this battle also. Yeah. Maybe, 
Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure you have seen this poster, give me five. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know where this idea was raised? Was born in my office. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see that hand, it could be mine or any of yours. Yeah. Okay? <laughs>